Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and uh, what's today? Tuesday, 3rd of September. I have an unboxing of um, something slightly different, although not different. It is to do with resin work. It is UV resin glue, and it is what is in here, which doesn't seem like much at all, is what I plan to try to do cover minders with. Um, so, oh, I purchased this, let's have a look, when did I order it? 20th of August, today is the 3rd of September, two weeks. Um, this was not... Amazon Prime. So this is why it took two weeks. Okay, so what this is, is 250ml epoxy resin UV glue. There is a mini UV LED lamp, a tweezer, four kits, a tw one tweezer, four kit decoration, 11 pieces of transparent silicon mould, a hundred pieces of accessories for handcrafted jewellery, earrings, necklaces, necklace, bracelet, nail art. Okay. Oh, okay. So, which, um, when it comes to resin stuff, it's always expensive. But, oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Just stick my nose in at the beginning bit. Okay, so, remove the bags. These are... Tiny little moulds, but anyway, let's go through what we have. Um, I wonder if I can bear with me. Whoops, I nearly removed you. Uh, display capture. I want to add that. Let's see if we can. Yep. Oops, no, I don't want that. Let's see, hang on a sec. <sighs> Sorry guys, you're seeing display capture. I actually want a window capture. Which I want to capture that window. Okay, so, bear with me. Oh, actually, you guys didn't see it. Um, so this is what the kit looks like. So I have some moulds, a little diamond mould, um, and some pieces of um, decoration. So that's what I've got in there. I'll just move that out of the way and we will transition across and have another look at that. Okay, so... I'm working my way through, so I have one, two, there we go, oh, 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 oh. Okay. can you tell I'm excited about this, okay, oh, because these are actually nail art stuff, so when you look at there's my resin. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when you look at um, a lot of stuff we do with diamond painting can actually be part of, can be done as resin. So hang on. Um, sorry, nail art. There's a lot of nail art stuff that can go with diamond painting, but there's also a lot of nail art stuff that goes with resin. So which is probably why I'm going along the lines of looking at um, at this. But let's have a look at what I should have in here. I should have a resin. Okay, 250ml of resin glue. Tick, got it. Um, I'd say that's the... Uh, yeah, that's the, the nozzle. Um, one piece of... Ooh, okay. 
one piece of, now they're calling it a nail dryer, but it's a mini LED light. Okay, one tweezer. Okay, for kit set decoration. Uh, have one tweezer, four kit set decoration, which I think is one, two, three, four. No, I don't think that's it. Hang on, guys, sorry. Handcrafted, okay, hang on, I'm trying to see what I'm supposed to have in here. Resin glue, a mini lamp, one tweezer, uh, four kit set decoration nail art tools. I don't think that's those. I believe that's a hundred pieces of accessories. Um, four kit set decoration. What's really funny is I can't really tell what they are by the description. Um, but that and that, who knows what that is. Okay, I can't really tell by the description. But um, 11 pieces transparent silicon mould. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not eleven. But I can. Oh, okay. So looking at the product description isn't what um, the kit looks like when you look at the pit. Isn't. Aha. Uh -huh, hang on. That's the hundred pieces for handcrafted jewellery. So they're little tiny hooks. So that's the 100 pieces accessories. Four kit decoration, which is that. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite sure whether that makes the 11. However, that is what I've got in the picture. So this is all looking, this is all got what is in the picture. So it's all here according to the picture, which is what I was mainly looking at. Okay, so I'll bring it down a little bit while I open these up. So these are, this is a nail dryer, but it's also the, it's what cures the resin because it's a UV resin. Okay, charges by USB and it is only tiny. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'll get my own tweezers out. I can't lift them up. They're a bit stiff. Yeah. They're... Oh no. There we go. If I actually put my nail in there, it'll come up that way. Okay. So that actually goes above um, the resin that I do. Okay. USB charging. So that's pretty cool got a tray here to put all my stuff in just to keep track of it right let's box that my resin curable hard resin no instructions on it but it is just a case of putting it in the in the molds and yeah okay um, put it in the moulds and it goes under the UV light for, I do believe, um, two minutes. Two to three minutes. Okay, tweezers. It's funny, it's <laughs> it's my favourite style of tweezer. Okay, now we're going to do a little test here. I don't know if you can hear what's going on. My fan has just kicked in. Um, and I'm hoping with the way that I've got things going that you can't hear it now that I uh, think I've fixed my sound issue. Which I just think I might be knocking. Okay, so tweezers. 
with the bend for placement of stuff and they are sharp and they look well not quite like those but they're pretty close too okay open this one up now this is this is the bit that makes pendants no I'm gonna have to actually cut the package open so this is a bit that makes the pendants so you pour into these okay I'm gonna actually bring you guys down so bear with me while I actually move the camera sorry guys because you really want to see this if you if you want to if you're interested in this this stuff you want to see okay so these are the molds where you would do your pendants um, okay how cool is that sorry I like getting things out of plastic okay so I don't quite know what they are I don't know what they are uh, and these look the same so the question is meh, I don't know I don't know I'll work out what to do with these later <laughs> oh. I've thought these might be fit sitting in there you pour the resin in and perhaps that happens I don't know that was my thought when I saw them who knows who knows I will have to I'm quite sure that I will find uh, something on YouTube to tell me what to do with those just move them out of the way <sighs> So this is the mould that makes the diamond and I have a choice of a large or a small diamond. Okay. So they do that's the moulds for the diamond. Um and I wonder. Oh no, where is it? There it is. When I got the short link canvas, I got a diamond. And I believe that would be that size. So if you want to see, my guessing is it's about that size. Um, these do have a flat bottom, although there is a point on the end, they do have a flat bottom. So that when you pour them, uh, they... Um, they, they, they sit flat while they sit okay so these are the ones that I believe will be perfect for small cover minders okay I'll just open both of these up do, do, do. come on okay get that out the way that out the way I'm going to put those out the way so these are what I'm looking at as these would just make small cover minders um, they are used for jewelry there is some okay this there's, there's actually oh cool so there's two they're exactly the same exactly the same shapes um, but yeah I'll be able to make cover minders with these I do believe um, whether I do I'm just trying to work out how to do the backs um, but I'll find out of it I'll find out when I put the magnets in I do have magnets on order hopefully they'll be here Friday or Sunday okay then we get to the bits that I We'll be using for the decorations 
So, I don't have glasses on. <laughs> For professional use only. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is this... Okay, excuse me while I pull these out. Okay, so these are in their own individual jars. Uh, what's a good one to have a look at? We'll get the purple out. Oh, okay. Where's those tweezers? So in these ones is flakes. Oh, okay. So hopefully you can put it on the back of my horrible hand. So they're just very tiny flakes. So they would be, you know, you'd be able to layer them inside. Or I could use them on, obviously, for other moulds that I get. But what have I got? I have... <laughs> Okay, I've got purple, I've got blue, two, three different shades of green, three pinky purples, a gold, a yellow, oops, sorry, not the mic, a reddish colour and a white. Okay, so that's one lot of colours. They won't be going back in that box, I can tell you that much. Rightio, ooh, ooh. So I use some ultra fine glitter on um, some of the stuff I do. There's nothing that doesn't say anything about it being professional use for this one. Um, but yeah, I do use ultra fine glue in the resin already. These are cute little tiny jars. But this is actually... So let's see if I can show you. Oof. If I take it, the lid. Okay, because I'm a klutz, I just need to bring this down low. But on the... There we go. On the actual lid, on the inside of the lid, it's a really super fine glitter. Oh, really, really fine. Do, do, do. Really fine. You know how glitter you can normally, you can feel it? I can't really feel it. Oof. For those of you that get, get glitter all over the place, <laughs> you'd have fun with these ones. So, one purple, couple of pinks, couple of greens, a red, an orange, couple of blues, a silver. Oops, and a white. Whoa, they're pretty cool. I wonder, hang on, purple? Blue? That's the white. Yeah, not quite matching up. Oh, doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so I'm saving the best for last. This is the one that I'm really looking forward to right here this one doesn't say for professional use either but this is flaky yet again like the other ones but <coughs> hang on do I have a purple okay so I don't know whether you can see that's the one that's got the bigger flakes and this has got the like a transparent flake in them. So just open this one up. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's Okay, so they are just about I Don't know if you can see it in there. They are so ultra fine. There we go such an ultra fine flake in there it's a transparent light flake 
So they're going to be cool. No, that was a bit of plastic. I thought I dropped a flake, but it's actually a bit of plastic. <laughs> okay. So I've got a few of those. They look really cool. I might zoom you in in a sec. These ones say for professional use only. <laughs> So with the cover minders that I'm looking at making, um, obviously I'm looking at putting the resin, so the magnet inside the mould. So I'm looking at actually putting the magnet inside the rock mould so that then there's no losing of the magnet. Um, so they're really fastened in there. Excuse me for a sip of coffee. Okay, now in these ones that just I have, I have tiny flowers. So these are dried flowers. Okay, and I'll just turn it up the other way. With these, I could okay. there we go. With these, I can end up cutting off little bits of those flowers. Sorry about the light. Um, that's because the camera is directly above. Actually, there we go. You can see that one. I can cut these little tiny flowers off and put them into decoration. Okay, so. Let's put the lids back on those. These are going to be so cool. The flip side of that is, what I have done is, so I have excess. Come on camera, be nice. Okay, so I have excess drills. So I'm going to focus down here. Give it a couple of minutes. Hey, down here. Is it going to even think about focusing? Hang on a sec. I'm going to have to stop this and start again. Uh, I had fun in games trying to sort that out. Okay, so what we've got is all of these, but what I was also contemplating, and I will do it, cause these are 820s, these are leftover drills. If I get to and pour a layer of resin onto, I'll bring this forward for you guys. If I put a resin, a layer, a small layer of resin down first, what I can do, and this is where it gets tricky, what I can do is line them inside with uh, drills, which will be, I believe, will be really, really cool. Because if you actually have your favorite DMC code or DMC color, you could probably have a cover minder with your favorite color so for example 666 820 um, one of my favorites is the 333 which is a purple um, and I could actually put some probably some glitter inside and you know and do a mix like that so on the flip side of that um, what I'm looking at is so obviously silicon molds are required to for resin because resin doesn't stick to it. I actually have some smiley face uh, ice cubes. What I'm going to do is um, come back to you. What I'm going to do is uh, clear this desk. 
I'll come back to you with my smiley face um, ice cubes and I'm actually going to have a little go at doing a little bit of resin work um, with these. Um, so yeah, I will be back very, very shortly. Okay, so I am back. I have sorted my colours out. I've actually put them in a tray and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go with pouring into these moulds. Okay, so uh, what do we got? What I've done is I have the resin. Um, I had to take, I cut the top off um, so I'll pour in. I am actually going to pour directly into these moulds. Um, just as a trial run, I have stored all of, all of my resin, all my bits and pieces um, uh, in a drawer right next to me. Then try a couple of different colours. Uh, yeah. And, whoops, here we go. I am actually going to try putting some rhinestones in as well. Okay, so I've got some rhinestones there. Uh, the For the rhinestones, I think... I think I'm going to have to put a dash of resin in each of these right at the beginning. And then put the flakes in and um, what else do I want to do? I want to do a glitter one. There we go. Do that glitter one. And these are the very fine, ultra fine flakes. I don't want that one. Hang on. Fluffing around here, finding something to different things. Okay. While I'm still learning how to use this stuff, it's quite interesting to watch the process. So, um, I do have another mat coming, but this is just my silicon mat. This is the only one I've got is silicon. So, please bear with me when it comes to working on this mat. Um, yeah, but we'll see how we go. So what I'm looking at doing, I'll put some resin in the bottom, uh, get it to set a little bit. So I just put a squeeze a dollop in each of these. Oops. Because I do believe that having a little bit in the bottom might just help I don't know just who knows um, because like if, I, if I'm going to put rhinestones in or drills in um, I'm gonna they're gonna have to stick into they've got to go and set into something which uh, which um, yeah so I dare say if I'm going to put rhinestones in any of these, they'll be in the, let's put a lid on that, have to be in the ones that have got a square bottom. Uh, what colour am I going to look at doing? can never get those things out. <laughs> I can't decide on which one. Um an emerald green there yeah there we go I've got an emerald green I'll go with an emerald green there we go um, pop that on it I'm not popping it on that one I don't want to get any resin on that pop that on there okay um, and I <laughs> I actually will be going for the drills that are face down facing the wrong way obviously Whoops, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use that many. 
and I'll do that. Right, so I have a little bit in each of these. I might, before I set anything, oh gosh, come on, this is the, I struggle to get them all straight at some stages, and then now they're all up the right way. Typical, typical, okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got sticky resin on these. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? There we go. Another one. That one's up the wrong way. Where's another baby wipe? I can't keep putting resin on my fingers. Uh, and another one there. Whoops. That's definitely going to take some practice getting those in square. Okay. I don't know if you can... So that's what I've done with the... Uh, 820s. How do oh, these are harder to pick up because they're round. Might do six in this. <laughs> I've got resin on the on my tweezers actually that's working out quite well okay so that's those what I'm going to do is make sure there's no bubbles by and torch to give a little bit of heat to these okay and I'm going to get this to set a little bit so here comes the torch, the torch, the UV light. Woohoo, getting flash. So what I'd be, okay, hang on, we're we not in properly. No, it's because I've got to turn my power pack off and on. Okay, one, two. Um, I'm just covering that up so I'm not looking directly at the light. Uh, two presses is uh, 60 seconds. One press is 45. Two presses is 60 seconds apparently. I don't want this running for the full, like it's supposed to be a two or three minute cure. Um, I don't want it like that because I want to be able to, I'm going to add some stuff to this. I just want to get the initial coating, initial top um, in there. Oops, I just found a blue glitter. So we'll see how that goes. Just a minute, just a minute. Bo, bring that toy back inside. I just spotted him heading to the doggy door. He had a toy in his mouth. He's not supposed to take toys outside. Okay. So I've got that. That's only gone for like a minute. What do we got? Oh, they're actually set. <laughs> oh, okay. Definitely trial and error, isn't it? Right. So in this, I'll put some more resin. It's in these bits that I'll put the decoration in. With obviously the exception being the um, the ones I put the drills in, because the ones that have got the drills, I will actually 
put a layer of resin on there. A layer of resin on there. Okay, so that's second layer. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put some soft flakes. Uh, I suppose I'll put them into this one. Are you seeing me struggle to pick these up? It's because I can't see them. Okay, there's some of the orange. Get in there. Hey, wipe that. Actually, put the lid on that. Okay, there we go. Is that one? Give that a bit of a wipe. Sorry, just bump the mic. Sorry, guys. You see how fine these sheets of colour are? Whoops. Oops, that's going to go in the wrong one. Into there. There we go. This is just me trying it out, so we'll see how it goes. And I put some in there when it shouldn't have been in there. Okay. Okay, there we go. The pink's in. Let's give that a wipe. Put the blue in a couple. Gosh, it is so fine. It's so hard for me to see it. It's fl they're flinging off. Wouldn't want to have a coughing fit while working with this. Or one of my usual big sneezes. Would really mess things up <laughs> okay let's spread that blue around righty and then for the next thing just gonna sprinkle a bit of glitter on there That is such fine glitter. It's like, oh, wow. That one. Let's wipe that one. Oh, you can see some of what I'm doing. Okay, and a bit of glitter in that. Okay, there we go, the glitter. Then... Um, just going to put a tint drop of colour in that. Um, and I do believe I've got some green. Oh, oh, I wish I had an emerald green glitter, but this will have to do. Rightio. A little, well not a toothpick but a skewer. Just going to mix that around. I need to fill this one right up. Okay. 
definitely requires a lot of squeezing. Just to see the effect. Now I do need to see if I can kind of not quite dome it, but I don't want it to go the edges a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm just going to That one's now got colour on it, so I can't... Hang on. That bit's got colour on it. So that can go in the bin. What I want to do now is... Do, do, come on. Fill these up. I think the bottle's now in your way. It's just taking so much strength to actually squeeze it out. The nozzle is actually too narrow. But I don't want it too thick because I don't want to squeeze out too fast. I think that one's just a bit... Oh, taking some effort here to squeeze these out. I will tap these down. Oops, that one's really doming up. I think I've got them. Okay. A couple that I want to... So I want to mix this glitter around here. See how that comes out. Mix this glitter around. See how that comes out. <laughs> okay. okay, it's just a little bit of glitter in this one, but so I'll mix that around. Glitter in this. I suppose the, the um, tweezers should be enough for this to do what I want it to do instead of using skewers. Oh, that one's really full. Okay, I wonder. I'll just try and take some resin out of that and put it into that one. Alrighty. Up. So, let's... Tap it a couple of times for starters. And just wanting to get out any air bubbles. I can see air bubbles in some of these. So, yeah. Which I can, I can see them coming out. Not as good as my big flamethrower. 
which is in where I do the resin work. Oops, did I just stick that into? Yeah, I did. I <laughs> just stuck the end in to that resin there. Okay, so let's just. I think that that's gone over. Just wanna. Okay. Rightio, let's see how we go this way over there. Whoops! I've got to do it every time. My power pack. If I don't use, if I don't have it on to save power, it um, shuts off, which is a good thing. Can be a pain in the ass thing, but it's a good thing. Okay. Getting some interesting notifications coming up. Okay. Oh, I will say that I'm leaning over top of that and I'm actually getting um, a bit of a smell. Which not really, not really a nice smell. Exciting screen, just seeing nothing happening. Shall I wriggle my fans around? Oof. So hopefully I can get this to work. That's one thing that I'd like. Because if I can get this to work the way I want it to work. Um, just one more go. This is the same UV light for those that go into nail technicians and you get your nails done, well, like I do. Um, your fingernails go under a UV light. Well, that's exactly the same light. That's what um, um, acrylic nails, acrylic resin. Oh, yeah. Okay. I do believe that's probably enough. Oh, feels like it's enough. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Mm. What are you doing under there, buddy? I'm going to give this one more go. Just one more go. One more go is not going to hurt. Okay, so I'll just put these away. Bow. He's a gorgeous dog, but he can be a pain at times. Hang on, just trying to... Right here. There we go. I can shut the drawer now. I say this is it. I'd say this is it. Let's see how we go. I mean, until I get the magnets and put them inside, I'm not going to know whether they're going to be strong enough. But if they're strong enough and be able to have something that's not too big, might be a good thing. I know for my beaded cross stitch as a um, cover minder, needle minder. Yeah, they're still tacky. Um, as a needle minder, I've got um, I've got the round one that Michelle gave me, um, and it is very heavy, which for a diamond painting is good. Actually, to mind a needle on the cross stitch, beaded cross stitch, is actually just a little bit heavy on the on the material for for holding it up. If that makes any sense. Come on, set. Do 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 do. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Let's put this lid. 
on that because I'm not putting any more resin out. I do like the idea of that. <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. There, that's a lot better. Semi tacky still. Yeah, no. This is taking a lot longer than the um, time that they're actually recommending. So um, I might actually have to get one of those dome things. That might be what it is, is that the UV light is not staying. It's coming out. Let's do that. The rays might stay in there and make a bigger difference. But yeah. Do, 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 do. Build a box to go around it so that'll hold the light in there. Hmm. Work on that one. But this would be so cool. So cool. Okay, lights out. See if anybody's at home. Okie dokie. Oh, they look. Oh, okay. I had the one with the rhinestones in it. Let's have a look at each of these. They come out. So the one with the rhinestones in it, which I put the glitter underneath. I don't think it needed the glitter. I don't know. Okay. Then we have the 820. Okay, so the 820 with a little bit of glitter behind it. I need a little bit of glitter. Okay, bring that there. That I like more as a backing than anything but yeah okay um then we've got the two with the actually we go the not wanting to come out oops that one didn't oh no that one worked just a bit that's on there so we're just getting the ones out that had the the sheets the sheer sheets in them oops Ooh. just turn them up the right way tweezers might help that's not the right way the right way that's the right way and that's upside down okay so this is with those little very fine sheaths of colour in them which are quite pretty. Really pretty. Um, and then we've got. Oh, those are going to come out. Two with glitter, and one of them which overflowed. And then we've got the one that I mixed with a colour. So obviously, the one that's when the overflow, I've got a. Um, they need to be sanded however let's have a look <laughs> crooked smile so the ones with the glitter obviously this has got stuff around it which I'll need to get the nail file onto and then that one which is whoops, that one there which is the tint which is just a simple green tint colour so yeah, um, 
these are going to be fun. These are going to be fun. Let's see what happens with it. Excuse me. But do you think these would be too small for cover minders? Bear in mind, oops, that one's upside down. Bear in mind, I am getting other ones, but these are just little tiny ones. So if you're actually after a, just trying to get it to focus. If you're actually after a needle minder, these would probably make really great needle minders. This size would anyway. Let's turn that up the right way. See the one with the resin with the rhinestones in it. A bit different. But yeah. What do you think? I reckon they're cute. Oh, there goes the dog. I reckon they're really cute, so um, I'm going to have fun. Uh, we'll say thank you for watching. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Uh, subscribe. And then obviously hit the bell to be notified uh, when I do uploads. Um, as you can see, I'm not just doing diamond painting, but I am doing stuff that ties into diamond painting in one way, shape or another. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll chat to you another time. Bye.